Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we have moved planets. We were over here at uh, Radilov, but we've moved ourselves now into the clan space, into Lum here. Now it is only a one skull planet, but there are several missions here that I want to try out. Um, there's like a three skull mission here I want to try out. Um, just to make sure we're ready for like something around a five skull. Um, let's have a look at the mech base because I've done a lot of things to the mechs. You notice our funds have dropped. Um, it's another month has gone by and I've retooled a lot of our mechs and I've moved some of them out. So the Hunchback is gone now and the Wolverine with the three L Clan LRM 15s has been moved out now. Um, we got rid of them because we needed to use some of the parts for these other mechs. So let's have a look at the Wolverine 1R first. Um, well, we don't really need to, need to have a look at him, but basically what I did is I added another um, spiked leg boot to him, so he's a little bit um, uh, tougher in the melee, and we added a couple of the uh, patchwork materials to offset the weight difference. So he's got a little bit more punch to him now, not much, but a little bit more punch in the melee end of things. Um, I'm not sure how much we're going to be using him, but we've got him now. So uh, the other major difference was the Catapult K5. Let's have a look at this guy. So we took the three clan LRM-15s out of the Wolverine, plus the one that we had left over, and we took all the MRMs out of this guy, and now we've loaded it up with four clan LRM-15s, uh, which are good, really good launchers. They're really, really lightweight. Um, we were able to add a little bit more armor, not much, but we put the clan ER pulse in here. Um, it is like 52 heat, um, but it is a pulse laser, so it has bonus accuracy, accuracy and evasion ignore, but it's got a maximum range of 1,000 meters. So we can be shooting guys across the map with this. Damage is 22, but this mech itself is a, um, a splatter damage mech anyway, so it's not a big deal. So we've got a Clan Artemis system in here, um, Artemis LRM, our ammo, um, defensive gyro and guardian ECM for some defense. And we were able to take the double heat sink, Clan double heat sink kit out of the Wolverine, drop it in here to offset all the heat, and the Clan Exchanger, Plus we put a targeting computer in it, so it's running really heat efficient. It's got like plus one, uh, two, three, plus four to hit with the missiles. Um, we just need to find some upper arm uh, missile uh, actuators to drop in this guy, um, and then it'll be even better. So this is actually a really good loadout. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Now let's have a look at what else did we do here? There was, I did minor tweaks to several different mechs. Um, we had a bunch of uh, tier one exchangers that I just sort of went through a couple of my mechs and pulled out just a regular heat sink and dropped the exchanger in. Uh, I don't remember which ones exactly, but there was a few of them that I was able to do that. Oh, the Hunchback's here. Which one did I pull out then? I pulled out another mech. Anyway, um, maybe it was the, I don't remember which one it was now. Anyway, um, so uh, the Warhammer is pretty much still the same. Um, I did add that uh, an exchanger, I think, in here, just a regular exchanger to give him, make him a little bit more heat worthy. Uh, I think I added another TTS in this guide to give him a better chance to hit. Uh, the Zeus remained the same. I did try a different couple, a couple different things with this guy, but unless we can get a Clan Ultra 20, there's really not much we can do with this guy. It's kind of the chassis kind of worn itself out at this point, so we're just kind of leaving them, leaving them as is. The Marauder stayed the same. King Crab, um, Fist of Dorn did point out that I did have a regular uh, case in here, so we were able to swap that out for the case too. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, it would have been bad if we hadn't had this in here, so now that's in here, it's good. Um, I didn't change anything else, I don't think, on this guy. Everything else remained the same. Uh, TTS ballistics, yeah, everything else was the same on this guy. Um, but what I did do, if we go back now, I don't remember if, if you remember seeing me put the second weapon mount in. Uh, what I did do in the Catapult 1R was we did have another upper missile um, uh, shoulder mount, which I put on the other side of the uh, Catapult, uh, which because we were missing one for the uh, Thunderbolt, so that's in there now. Uh, I think I stripped a little armor off it, I can't remember what I did. But I think I completely rejigged this guy slightly. Uh, let's have a quick look. I think I downgraded the engine from a 275 to a 260 to bring that down a little bit. Um, I included this exchanger to give it better heat management. 
upper missile went in this arm. I pulled something. I can't remember. Oh, um, we had clan endosteel in here. I think I pulled out and was managed to switch things around slightly. I think we put the ultra. We didn't. I don't think we had a gyro in here before, but we put an ultra light gyro in to get some weight up, um, back, which we needed. Um, but this mech basically just stayed the same. It just now has improved chance to hit with the thunderbolt 15. So it's it's ready to go. And the last thing we're going to look at now is the Annihilator. So this is the mech that was going to replace the Zeus, I think. Um, I toyed around with a lot of builds on this guy. Uh, and I wasn't able to come up with really anything that I was really, really happy with, with the exception of this. So this is, you know, basically a Gosszilla build. So we've got four clan Goss rifles in here. Uh, and we put a combat shield in to reduce some damage taken. Uh, Breacher cockpit and two TTS ballistics in here. We've got six tons of ammo, which lets these Gauss rifles fire for 12 turns. Stealth armor and a Guardian ECM plus a defense gyro to help um, mitigate some of the damage. I wasn't really able to increase the armor to max, but it's pretty good as it is. Um, Clan XL, and we didn't really need to add much. We just have a regular 300 fusion core in here uh, in the way of heat sinks because the Clan Gauss rifles, are, you know, the, <laughs> the heat is so efficient on this guy, it's going to be firing continuously. So um, the only thing we may want to do in the future is find some way to add uh, maybe some more um, armor, or not armor, ammo. Um, armor too, if we can get armor, great, but we'll have to find some stuff to, to maybe do that. I had to put the clan endo steel in here, which is why I took it out of the, uh, um, the uh, catapult. So yeah, um, the only thing we could really do is maybe pull this off and put something else, maybe a spa line here in here or something, but uh, I like the fact that it's got the combat shield. Um, the 15% damage reduction is going to be nice because this is another slow pokey mech um, at a Fusion Core 300. So yeah, that's kind of how that's going. So those are the mechs. Now let's have a look at the contracts here. Um, also, um, Cold Metal, our main pilot, has now got Gunnery 10, which is great. So that's why he's going to be uh, piloting that mech. And we're going to go right to the bottom here and take this hostile insertion mission. Uh, Snow Raven has dropped in a heavy lance inserted the planet at three skulls on a Martian terrain. So this should be an interesting mission to take with our heaviest lance just to see what we can pull off here. So let's negotiate this and we're going to go full salvage. Uh, we're doing okay cash wise. It's not quite the end of the month yet. We could always sell some stuff. We still have a bunch of mechs that we could sell if we had to. Um, clans to do. Okay, so let's accept this. And let's, yeah, I pulled off a couple of missions with the uh, lighter lances here um, just to get continue to generate capital while we were uh, um, upgrading our new mechs. So let's drop in this guy, and then let's drop in, I think we're going to, it's a trick, I don't know, whether we should go with the new one. No, you know what? The accuracy on this catapult is so incredibly good. I'm going to keep it in, in play. Uh, Cold Metal's going in. Hickory's going in. Um, and Pylon and a Recoil. So uh, let's deploy this Lance and see how we do here. All right, here we go. Let's just hope it's the Heavy Lance and they don't have reinforcements right. coming in from over here. Um, so, yeah. If they do have reinforcements, we definitely want to use this Cliff Face as defense. So, let's move ourselves along here and then down, I think. Um, Commander. Let's get a bit of speed up. So five chevrons evasion for assault mechs, not too bad, I guess. Yep. Let's just make sure you stay behind these guys. So I'm expecting, most likely, um, since it is a heavy lance, supposedly a heavy lance into the planet, probably two heavies, two assaults, or medium, a heavy, two heavies and one assault. But we'll see. Ah, here vehicles. Chances are it's the reinforcements. Yeah, I hear them over here. Okay, so this should be an interesting fight. We do have yeah. we do have plenty of firepower, so not that worried. 
The only thing I'm worried about is if they try, try and drag it out. Don't really have the, the ammo to go on forever here. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing vehicles from over here. What's up, Commander? So most likely we're going to have reinforcements. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Standing by. Aye, aye. Okay. What do you need? Understood. Moving fast. Catapult looks so small compared to these guys. I remember when the catapult looked so large. Now it's just this tiny little thing. 70 tonner. What's this guy? 100 tons. 75. 35. Okay, so that's what I thought. Pretty much. Oh, so someone's going on. This guy is. Black Knight, probably? Okay, at least it's the missile version. Is this the machine gun version? I hate those Jenners with the light machine guns. It's the streak version. Okay. Um, he's going to overheat in this environment really quickly. Um... We need maximum movement. We can't just be dawdling. So what do we got down here? King Crab. Um, let's hammer him. Okay, good start. Novacat Prime. I think we really want to pull these guys down here on the left first. Um, yep. I hate to make her a free rover on this map, but we kind of have to. Arrow, 91% chance to hit this guy. We're going to fire. That was a nice big CT hit for 92. Yeah. At least it's vehicles. It's a 95 ton vehicle though. Speed these missiles up a little bit. Now, yeah, pretty good chance to hit with this guy. Shitty on this one. We're going to go after the King Crab. We're going to Warlord. And we're going to do an offensive push on him. Going to try for a CT hit. And let's just inflict as much as we can. Okay, three hits. Ah, they're really liking Mr. Krabs, man. Order. Three ER larges, two ER PPCs. Chunky as hell armor. Gonna play this one a little bit more defensive than I normally do, I think. Uh, we're gonna target this guy with everything and fire. Okay, we finally penetrated somewhere here. CT. Looks like the vehicle, the uh, reinforcements might be all vehicles, in which case we kind of lucked out. In a way.
Someone goes on turn four? Wow, look at the lasers on that guy. Jesus Christ. Time to back up. Not much armor left in that location. Well, he's on the Martian train. Maybe he'll shut himself down. Look at this. Yeah, four vehicles, okay. Damage is light. I'm here. Confirmed. I don't want to be too engaging with this guy. Um, those are pretty good chances to hit overall. We'll just take the shots. From position. Got past the armor. This guy's heating pretty quick. Jesus, good shooting, man. Armor breach. Internal damage. I got a turn. That's where the arrow system is. Okay, let's get our stability back. This guy's 70%, this guy's not. Um, we're overheating too. Let's leave one ER large off. We're going to fire the rest. So I think the Annihilator and the Crab are going to go after these Nova Prime up here. Black Knight, yeah. Uh, is this guy still unstable? He's totally unstable still. Okay, let's back up here. I mean, we could try and kill this guy too, right? 400 armor. Not a whole lot. I mean, we could just blow straight through him and maybe get lucky here. Clan XL engine. I don't know. I think this guy's more of a threat though, so let's fire on him. We got excellent chances to hit, dumping everything on him. Okay. There's a knockdown. Which we're gonna capitalize on. Actually, I don't know. I think we need to hit this guy. Um, yeah, King Crab's got 19 left. All right, Rico, we gotta double shot this. Uh, I want you back in here for a second. Give them an alternate target to shoot at. Let's fire on him and him. And I think we're gonna fire this guy there. Leave that one off and everything else to be like so. Looks great, we're gonna fire. Okay. Ah, he bailed before I could kill him, the turkey. Okay, I'm not convinced this is heavy enough firepower yet. I think the weakest link is still the uh, catapult. The fact that they can blow through the armor so quickly, I think, is the drawback. Don't know how to fix that. I, I mean, we could outfit the Zeus with the arrow system in one arm. That's the other thing too. Leave the arrow in it and then maybe drop like an Ultra 10 or something in the other arm or I don't know. Don't worry, you're gonna be getting yours in a minute. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, you can. That guy's gonna shut down for a second then we're gonna core him.
That's the guy we need to shut up. I'm surprised he hasn't overheated yet. Oh, he's dropping a heat. Reporting minimal damage. Okay, Krabby. Actually, we'll just shoot first and then move. So let's fire on... This Black Knight is almost completely overheated. Um, do we want to de try? Let's try and destabilize this guy. Yeah, let's fire on him. Roger. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to back up to here. Okay, Hickory. Uh, let's move into indirect fire mode, please. Acknowledge. And let's drop. Yeah, we're gonna warlord this too. Let's get our heat back. We're gonna drop it on this guy, and we're gonna try for a torso hit. He's got two ER PPCs left. Where are they? In this arm? Yeah. I mean, if we get lucky and hit the CT twice, we could we could just kill him. 52% for the torso, 74 for the CT, so let's try that. Here they go. 189. We missed with the second one. See, that's what I mean. I guess we could drop the arrow. Yeah, CT hit. We could drop the arrow system into Zeus, I think, and just ditch the other Thunderbolt and then just go with a direct fire weapon. We'd have a lot more armor. Um and have more direct fire potential. Okay, uh, let's get recoil going. Actually, he can just fire first. So let's shoot this guy, and we'll leave the large off again. Fire the rest. Solid connection. Yeah, man. Shut that guy up pretty good. Injury ignored, eh? Okay, let's just back up to here like this. Gonna need to spend a turn cooling down, I think, in a minute. Mm-hmm. Reporting heavy damage. Not as heavy as you think it is, buddy. Not as heavy as you think it is. Okay, I'm going to move into here. And look at that. I mean, it's like no heat. I'm going to fire at this guy. I'm going to try it for a headshot on him. You never know. At 99% chance to hit. Let's just see what we do here. Well, torso him. Fine. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay, so I think this Jenner is going to get the gosses next. The Nova Prime is going to go down hard in a second here. Mr. Krabs is going to rip them apart. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, I know you are. They don't like you because of those Rack 5s. But those stupid peepers are going to be off you in a second. Losing lots of armor. Yeah, I know you are. Relax. Still got, still got tons of armor, buddy. Okay. Chose the right guy. Now you're just going to piss me off. Loving their LRMs, I gotta say. My armor's getting stripped off. Yeah, I know. Just relax, buddy. Relax. We got this. Position confirmed. Alright, swapping sides for the missiles coming in. And we're going to leave the ERs off this time and just go with Gosses and, or the uh, Rotaries. That hit something good. Yeah, he decided to not even bother anymore. Uh, can we get a direct line of sight on that guy? We can't. So let's reserve. Waiting for the right move.
It's like they're peeing on him, man. Just gonna move one square. It's four evasion, even if I just move one. So it's pretty good. We're just gonna dump everything into this guy's face. Huh. <laughs> Strip both of his arms off. He's almost gone. Damn it. Critical hit. Yeah. Don't worry, we got a backup rack five. Commander. We don't have a backup pylon, but we have a backup rack five. Let's get rid of this guy so they can't see us anymore. Fire. One left time. All right. I'm here. Um, let's sprint back up to the main group. Let's keep the left side more towards the enemy. So we've kind of got this little rock here between us and them. So... Receiving you. Standing by. Just going to brace it up, get our heat back. There's no point in trying to go crazy here yet. Let's let these guys come to us a bit. Ready for order. I think we're in an okay spot. That's a heat back right there. <laughs> Of course, the uh, annihilator doesn't need to get its heat back. Uh, let's give them something to look for. Um, let's move the annihilator out here. Yeah, we got what six chevrons of evasion. Not bad. So I think what we might do. Uh, is switch around um, Taking a protective stand. who's piloting what I think um, either the oh there we go either the uh, Marauder 2 or the Crab will be piloted by um, Cold Metal oh they destroyed the goddamn weapon map Bad one, I think. good to go Um, because we've got uh, Warlord, it cools the mech off as well. So we might switch that around. Let's fire it on this guy. Um, just so we can get cooling. This Godzilla is going to run cool no matter what we do. Well, that's a lot of missiles. Okay, let's target this guy with everything and fire. One more for the trash heap. You got that right. Okay, I'm going down. Oh, maybe not. That 40 tenner might knock me down though. Oh, okay. Didn't go for me. That's good. Yes, Commander. Yeah, uh, we need to make sure our left side's facing the enemy. On my way. Everything on this guy. And fire. All weapons are go. Goodbye. Reporting critical hit. That was a nice close up of the explosion. Aye, aye. Confirm. All right, targeting this guy. Long range fire. Okay, one hundred and thirty. Got past 
Probably a turret hit. No, side hit. Okay. Damn these guys and their friggin' LRMs, man. Don't know why they're not shooting him. Probably because they can't see him. It's kind of weird. Forty, thirty-seven, fifty, forty-three. Let's give us ourselves a better chance to hit. Let's go on this guy. We can probably take him out if we get a nice shot here. Here we go. All right, and recoil. Yeah. What can I do you for? What can I do you for? Five bucks, man. So you can do me for. Oh, there was a. There we go. Bust an ah. All right, uh, that's a little bit too much heat. Take out the large laser, fire the rest. I got him. Wow, this guy's got so much armor. Orders. Yo, sure, you can see him. All right, hit him with this. Hopefully, we hit him with this. Confirm. Wow, two hits, eh? That's nothing. All right, Hickory, by. don't even move. And fire. Here we go. Nice hits. Okay. All I gotta do is get. Oh, I got. I got a shot on him right here. And fire four. All well, only one hit, really. God damn those missiles! I'm under heavy fire. It's the you know, the clan LRMs are the most efficient weapon I think in the game per weight. Because you can stack them. This guy will be dead this turn. Uh, you can stack them, right? And as long as you can mitigate the heat, the damage is ridiculous. Oh, we don't have sight now. But now we do. Makes these launchers even more dangerous. Firing. There we go. 220 points on that guy. We always get the big hits when we don't really need it. Alright. Alright, 126,000. That's not going to cover our damages. Uh, we lost a weapon mount. Rotary AC5 took a crit. Um, yep, so other than that, we did pretty well, I guess, overall. The catapult definitely taking tons of damage. So I think we're going to retire that catapult, and we definitely will put um, the Zeus in as the new arrow launcher, I think. So lots of mech parts, but we what we really want is stuff like the uh, maybe not this, but um, look at all these LRM launchers, man. Um, streak launchers. Good thing I didn't get in a range for these guys. Uh, clan case, command console. Gonna toss that in there for now. I don't know if we're gonna keep it or not. 
Clan XLs, I think we're good with those. Guardian ECM clans, what else do we got? Heat Bank clan. One ton, two slots, dissipates nine heat per turn. What else do we have down here? Clan double heat sinks, Artemis systems, we don't need. Yeah, okay, so. I was really hoping for some clan. Well, there's a, there's a, there we go. Clan ER large. I think efficient, efficiency wise, like this is four tons, 60 damage, 35 heat. I think they're better than the ER PPCs. I mean, these guys shoot out to 750. Um, these guys shoot out to 1,000. I think efficiency-wise, the Clan ER Larges are, are far better. You can fit f three of these in for every two of these. Damage would be 180, damage would be 150, heat's 110, and heat's uh, 105. So, you know, it's still better to go the ER Larges, I think, than rather than the ER PPCs. Um, other than the big hit, of course. And maybe we take, I don't know what else here. Got to be improving our mechs as we go. So what else will improve them? Uh, I'm thinking this clan heat bank for now. The Marauder two, the Marauder two C could use that, I think, or the Marauder two could. Yeah, we lost that weapons mount too, and I can't replace it. All right, let's go this route. See how many mech parts we get. Black Knight, Jenner, King Crab, Nova Cat. Crap. Eh. ER medium. Okay, nice. 35 damage, 15 heat. It's pretty good. Uh, another LRM 15. Clan ER PPC. Um, yeah. The planetary government took lum from <laughs> Clan Snow Raven. Really? Uh, 330,000. We knew it was going to be a lot, but... There you go. Okay, so let's run a second one real quick. We got our medium lance to go still. Let's manage our tasks. What's the time here? Mr. Krabs, look at this. Let's go this road for now. All right, let's get a, another contract going real quick. We're going to look for parts, I think, in this one more than anything. And let's take uh, Trap Sprung, maybe? Mm, kind of lousy. Escaping Spy. It's an Assassinate mission. Martian Terrain. Vanguard, Defend Base. Battle. That's Pirates, though. Um, don't want to go too high up the ladder here. Martian Terrain. It's all Martian. All right, let's do Escaping Spy then. It's an Assassinate mission against, who are we looking for? Government Spy, so let's not take that one then. Trap Sprung against Government Colors, come on. Hmm. Clan Snow Raven, okay. Ambush Combine in the Martian Train. Sure, why not? Let's do this. And let's change out to our second Lance. So we're going to run... Uh, let's run the Zeus. Let's run the Jager Mech, the Warhammer, and the Wolverine. Although we haven't tried the Catapult yet, so maybe we should bring this in. Um, who would I take out though? See, the Jaeger's got two Clan Goss rifles. These guys are all heavy loadouts, right? I mean, I guess we could pull the Zeus. Yeah, let's pull the Zeus, and we're going to go with the Catapult. Uh, just because it's got longer range firepower. So let's go with that, and let's load the second Lance in. So we got Raider, Hogweed in the Jaeger, Riddler, and then Warlock in the Wolverine. Alright, so let's deploy and get this done. Initiated. 
All right, here we go. Tracking down the convoy. Running from there to there. We know this map really well. So, convoy's over here, moving their way along this way. So, we need to get up here fast, intercept them in here, which we shouldn't have a problem doing. Especially with the Wolverine leading the way. Look at the evasion of this thing. Oh, yeah, man. How much is that? Is that 9 or 10? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 evasion. Okay, this Lance, even though they've got a lot of heavies in it, it's pretty mobile overall. Waiting for orders. Got it. Not sure how fast this Waiting mech is, though. I, oh, it's still pretty fast. I did lower the engine slightly, so... Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't this one, it's the other mech I lowered the engine on. No, it was this one. That's right, I did lower the engine on this one. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get up here. Our target is within sensor range. Target's within squashing range almost. They're moving pretty quick over there. Ready for order. But we got the speed to catch them, so we should be okay. Now, the question is, do we have the speed to kill them? They may be able to blow past us and get out of here. Got it. No shooting, just running. But I think we've got enough I'm here. firepower for a uh, one and a half skull mission. We're rated at four and a half skulls, so although it is clan, so we never know what you never know what you're up against. Okay, first one on blip, 40 ton vehicle. Not gonna lock it just yet. Enemy contact. So I think this is the convoy. Nope. Defenders. I'm here. Keep sprinting it. Okay, we're in front of these guys now. Next turn, they will be fodder, hopefully. On it. Yes, Commander. Okay, four mechs in play. They got a ton of mediums. Well, we're never going to know how good this mech really is. Unless we make ourselves known. Ultra 5 clan, nice. Let's make that guy easier to kill. Imagine if we could replace the uh, Ultra 5s on Mr. Krabs with clan versions. Gain some weight there. Joust? Ah, they're still hitting, even with all this. Come on. Bring yourself into the party here, guys. It's okay, damage is light. Enforcer 2C, huh? 
I think we've got like Enforcer's 2C parts. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's get some of these guns off the field, guys. Like this guy. Nice, that should do it. <laughs> I have no idea where that piece went, but it's gone into space, I think. Where is it? Waiting for it to come down. Nah, it's gone somewhere. It's in space. It is in space. Okay, joust. I don't like all those LMGs. Ares. Let's target this guy. Let's get started on him. Um, a warlord next turn. Okay, it is going to get um, I'm receiving you. a whole lot of LRMs here in a second. Can we get a direct shot on them? Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. Pretty good heat management, okay. And actually good targeting, so let's hit it with everything. Okay, 35 tonner. I don't know how stompy stompy I want to be with the... Uh, I think we probably should be though. Let's be stompy stompy with this guy. Let's take him out of the battle. Mm-hmm. Oh, Bye-bye. I want to see a uh, match where somebody brings in just like one melee mech and stomps a whole a whole um, convoy versus uh, of uh, vehicles plus the uh, convoy versus of uh, vehicle guards. So basically eight vehicles. That'd be hilarious. Because with this evasion, it's like... Although if everyone was shooting at him, I don't think he'd be able to survive it. All it would take is for enough hits to make him unstable. But if you had a one of those heavy melee gyros, you could probably do it. I put an invasion gyro in here. Yeah, defense, double defense gyro. But if you had high enough piloting skill, you could avoid the uh, stability damage. Okay, what's that guy doing? Thinking about jumping here again. Nope. Running. Backing up. Okay. It's going to leave these guys to die. Very unclan like but uh, whatever. I guess they're a different cast, these guys, so they don't really care. It's like, eh. I'm your spaniel. Okay, which one of these two is easier to kill? The Zora? Probably. Yeah, I'll be 5x. Yep, so we're going to multi target. I'm going to shoot this guy and uh, this guy. B, 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 and fire. Got it, Commander. I'm picking up a new sensor of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcement. <sighs> okay, that vehicle's gone. Be gone. God, I'm worried of turning my back to this guy now. Uh, let's get over here. Roger. 
Got to change our tactics. Everything on this guy. Um, no, we're just going to fire. Warlord's next turn. Reporting critical hit. Stand in by. Moving at full throttle. Same thing with this guy. Warlord's next turn. Dump everything on the side of this guy. Bye bye. Mech destroyed. Good to go. There's three on this side now. So those guys came in. I don't know if they come in because we killed two of the vehicles. Or three of the vehicles or whatever it ended, or two vehicles, I think it was. Um, or if they come yeah. in as um, a certain weight classification. Confirmed. Like for instance in the heavy phase. Okay, so there's goes the uh, convoy. Vehicle kill for me. No, we ain't leaving because you know we got guys over here we need to kill. So we're going to slowly work our way towards the evac zone, but I don't think we're going to take it unless the mechs that are here are going to overwhelm us. Couple of 30 tonners. But it's the clan, so it's like you can't say, oh, it's just a couple of 30 tonners. No, it could be anything, right? Um, do we want eyes on or no? I think we're going to wait a turn. Let's get ourselves back here. Standing by. And we're going to go with Stompy Stompy Wolverine on the other two vehicles. Commander. And we'll use the three heavies here to take care of the new Confirm. lance that's come in. Get some heat back. So they got got four lights. So these two are light. Just gonna reserve. Whatever you say. That vehicle might move out. Yeah, it did. Commander. Should be able to kill this guy. Okay. Target destroyed. Man, she's better in that vehicle than Pylon ever was. I mean, Pylon was good, don't get me wrong. Um, but she's just enjoying that just far too much. 20, 45, pair of 30s. All right. Let's give him a what for here. I think we need a sprint. Confirmed. Spider 5k. Oh, God. These guys are just a regular lance. Uh, okay. Sure, man. Bring what you want, but uh, not really much of a reinforcements. Ooh, that hit something good. So the 45 ton is probably a vindicator. If we get lucky, it's an axeman or something, but we'll find out here in a second. Oh, no, we won't. Uh, let's hammer this spider. Might as well go warlord on it. Give us better chances to hit. Maybe we kill him fast. He's going down. Too bad this guy here is going to be receiving all the missiles. He's kind of getting the worst of the... Uh, let's not go there. He's getting the worst of the deal here, I think. 
Not necessarily because of the damage, but I think it's the uh, sheer fear factor of all these missiles coming right at him. He didn't get knocked down. Watch my six. You watch your six. Your ass ain't that cute looking. Come on, spider, what are you doing? Oh, you're brave. Well, it's not like you can do anything else. Your dropship's gone. Uh, that vehicle's not moving, so we're going to move back here. Moving. Mm -hmm. There's Zora. Um, sure. Alright. I made a mess. Let's get these guys. Seriously. Although, I, you know, I shouldn't complain. It's a one and a half skull mission. They are trying. Come on, guys. I gotta finish this up. I gotta go home. Chef's making bacon and eggs tonight for dinner. I gotta get out of this place and get some bacon and eggs, man. Oh, Blackjack. Okay. The mech that I think is completely goofy looking, but whatever. Damage is light. Yep. How's this guy doing? Ah, I think he needs a full pasting. Wait your command. I'm walking here. Let's split it up a little bit, though. What? I hit A? Okay, whatever. B, 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 B. Sure. Fire. Splitting fire on multiple targets. He's going down now. That guy's going down for good. That's a kill. Ah, man. It feels good to have a turkey shoot after that last match, I think, though. Uh, this guy's almost gone. What's he got left in CT? 40. This guy still got a bit, so let's multi-target this out. Here and here. Um, Goss on each. Oh, God. Beast, like, sitting duck here. Let's put the Gosses on B and everything else to A. Engaging multiple targets. Wow. They both hit. I didn't think those uh, heavy um, Critical hit, Commander. heavy medium lasers were going to hit there. I'm here. All right, so this is a multi-target. I still don't think this large ER pulse is worth what it does. Uh, four hits for 22 damage each. It's got a good range and everything, but for 40 heat, I don't know, it's, um, iffy. I mean, I like it on this mech. Because the damage on this mech is basically uh, all, um, it's all splash damage anyway. So that doesn't, it, you know, gives you four chances to add an extra bu bunch of splash. Can't sensor lock somebody targeted on the ground. Oh, I can fire this though. Sure. See if we can kill him. I didn't check how much he's got left though. Eh, not close enough. Oh, now I'm just tearing you up. 
15. Well, he shot Riddler. Riddler gets Riddler gets to kill him. Standing by. Just because we can. Fire everything. Ow. Let's remove some crap salvage if we can. Alright guys, 175,000. That should cover our repairs without a problem. And a little bit of experience, but not much. Okay, a bunch of parts. We do have an Enforcer 2C part, but uh, we don't really need it. What we do need are things like this. Let's get a couple of those. Let's see what else? LBX 5s. No, there was a Clan Rack 5. Here it is. Or Ultra 5, sorry. Still, though. It's working well on the Bushwhacker, so. And I don't think there's. Anything we absolutely have to have. Ah, man, a lot of Artemis systems. See, this is what we have to fear. That's why their LRMs are so good, because they've got all, all, all of them got Artemis systems, right? All right, we're going to take these. Blackjack Enforcer, 3 Enforcer 2C parts, nice. Uh, LBX5 Clan, nice. Eh, meh. Yeah, well, it could have been better. Okay, only 22,000 repairs. All right. Yeah, we're right back to where we were. So let's manage our tasks a bit here. We are going to bring up Mr. Krabby. Actually, you know what? Let's leave stuff that can get done in two days to be done in two days. And then this guy's here. Although it is far more efficient, I think if we do it this way. So let's do it this way. So that's 11 days. So we'll be back up and running with this with the um, secondary lance in four days. Ah. Let's go this route. Back in two days. Well, you know what? Doesn't matter because uh, it's going to be at least five days for our, our minimum of four days for Hogweed to be back. So we got Pylons back in two, but Hogweed, Raider, Warlock, and Riddler are back in four. So we have to wait four days anyway. Hickory's out of action for ten. Still got enough time to pull off another, uh, maybe even two Light, Land miss Light Lance missions before the end of the month. Mr. Krabs and the Annihilator are going to be out for a bit, but that's fine. Um, so we're going to leave the episode here. Uh, if you like it, drop a like. Um, I'm interested in some comments, too. Um, that was a three-skull mission we did against the clans. We did okay. I think maybe we can go up to, to like, four, I think, if we choose the right mission. Uh, I'm going to look for things like um, base destruction where we can take on one lance at a time. And maybe we can even go up to four and a half and five skulls with the lance we have. Now we have to decide, I think probably what we should do, and I'd like to hear what your comments are uh, regarding the Zeus, is maybe we take um, the catapult as we have it now with the uh, arrow system in it. And we add that, actually let's manage the tasks again. That's this catapult right here, I believe. So we're gonna bring, um, Let's bring it up in front of the Marauder 2. Because the Marauder 2, I think, can stay as it is for now. Let's bring the Catapult up so we can get that done a little earlier. It'll be done in nine days. Um, and then we can have a look at maybe stripping that arrow system off and putting it on the Zeus and using the Zeus as the arrow dis delivery system. Simply because he can take a lot more punishment. Um, and we can lower the engine in him give him a bit more weight and then maybe we, maybe we can add a few other things to him 
Uh, maybe we turn them into a long range platform. Maybe it's, you know, full of clan LRMs or something. Um, but we can decide that once we start looking at them. But I, I'd like to hear your comments. Put them in the comments section down below. Um, let me know what you think the loadout could be on that. We do have one um, ballistic hardpoint really on the left hand side and the missile hardpoint. A couple of missile hardpoints on the right hand side. So yeah, let me know what you think we can do with that one. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.